Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be looking at gift ideas for any hockey player. Whether it's for Christmas, whether it's for a birthday, or just a gift, this is going to be a few ideas from a range of different prices that will be good for any hockey player regardless of what level they play or how old they are. Now to make this a little bit different from the other versions of this video that we've created, the first portion of this video I wanted to dedicate to gift ideas or products that are under $50. This time of year can be very, very expensive, and it's always nice to know that there's a bunch of options, a bunch of great options that don't have to cost a massive amount of money. So let's look at some great gifts that you can get any hockey player for under 50 US dollars. Now, one of the first and most obvious ones is gonna be those things that hockey players go through very, very quickly. Things like leg tape, stick tape, if it's an extra set of laces in case they bust a lace or they break an eyelet, those will always go a long way with hockey players regardless of what level they play at. It's one of those things that's always great to have inside your hockey bag, so if you ever need it, it's nice to know that it's there. Now, on the subject of tape, an accessory that I've been using for the last few months is gonna be Tape Tiger. Now this is that blade that lets you cut the tape off of your hockey stick very, very quickly. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you're the type of player that has to retape their stick, that hates having to retape their stick, pulling off old tape is never fun. This device makes it super clean, super easy. Or from there, if you're the type of player that doesn't like taping their stick, especially the top part of their stick, you could look at tape alternatives like butt ends. Now I've been using butt ends for a number of years. It's definitely one of my favorites. There's lots of different variations from lots of different companies, but butt ends have always been the one that we really, really prefer. So that will always go a long way again with a hockey player, regardless of what age they are. From there, it's gonna be something to look after your skate's edges or your runners. And in this case, it's gonna be Blade Barber. If you remember not too long ago, I created a video where we looked at the prototype of this device. I'll link that down below so you can find out a little bit more about it. But it's not the sort of device that's in between you actually going to a store or a pro shop and having your skates sharpened. It's an actual skate sharpener. It removes a significant amount of material from the skate's blades, essentially retouching or sharpening your edges. This will be a great device for any player looking to be able to look after their runners, be able to sharpen their skates whenever they need to. It's very small, very portable, easy to put inside your bag, and it will be a great device to have, especially around the pond hockey season, when you're skating on ice that can be less than desirable, might even be skating on sea ice, which has salt in it. All of these things are gonna help to wear down your edges. So having a nice portable, small skate sharpener inside your bag would be a great addition to your equipment that any hockey player would appreciate. Now from there, it's gonna be visors. We've been looking at a company called Hockey Ninja for the last few months, who manufacture incredibly high quality visors made in Europe, Great quality, a great range of different cuts, different shapes, and their visors typically are $29.99 US dollars, which I think is phenomenal. So it definitely comes in under the $50 budget. So if you're looking for a new visor, if it's gotten to that time where your visor's heavily scratched, heavily marked, definitely check these guys out. And if you're buying a visor for a hockey player as a gift, a great way of being able to figure out what visor they have is maybe take a picture of it and use that to match up against the different cuts or different shapes of visors that are available. Or better yet, take a picture and even maybe perhaps email the company that you're buying a visor from to find out if they can help identify the exact cut or shape of visor that the player has so you can get the right one. Because there's a lot of different styles, a lot of different looks with visors, so it's always great to make sure you get the one that the hockey player likes. Now continuing on to look at great gifts that you can get for under $50, if you have a hockey player that likes to spend time practicing when they're away from the rink, if they like to stick handle and shoot pucks as much as they can, whether it's in the garden or in front of the drive, I definitely recommend getting something to protect their stick and their stick blade. That'll be Hockey Wraparound. If you're not familiar with this device, it's a stick protector that goes onto the blade of the hockey stick, so you can use it outside on rough surfaces without having to shred your very expensive composite sticks. We've done a ton of videos on wraparounds in the past, so I'll link all of those down below in the video description, but it's a great addition, again, for any hockey player that likes to train, that wants to develop, and likes to play outside. Now, of course, little shameless plug for Hockey Tutorial merch. Aside from having our t-shirts that come in senior and junior sizes, a range of different colors, we also have our snapbacks and also our baseball style hats. There's also the very popular Hockey Tutorial jerseys. You can have your own name, your own number, and your own country flag on the back so you can personalize it and make it a little bit more you. All of those links will be down below in the video description to pick them up worldwide. Now, next up is mouth guards. If it's getting to the end of the year or the end of the season and you've been using the same one for a while, getting a brand new mouth guard will always go a long way. For quite a while now, I've been using these ones over here, which are Sisu's mouth guards. They're very low profile, incredibly thin, and very moldable. I've done a full video on these that I'll link down below in the video description, but these are definitely my preferred mouth guard. So if you're after one, if the one that you've been using is getting a little beaten up and chewed up, check these ones out. They're fantastic if you haven't tried them already. Now, of course, from there, we're not gonna forget about one of the major ones, which is pucks. 
There's a lot of different pucks since the last gift ideas video that we put out. Of course, you've got the traditional green biscuit, which is great on rough surfaces. A puck that we've been looking at recently is this one over here, which is the Viper puck. There's a full video coming out on this, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it, but this is a great puck for stick handling on rough surfaces. I'll put a link down below in the video description to Viper's website so you can find out a bit more information about it, but we have a full video coming out on these. The other puck that we've been looking at for a while is gonna be the Q puck, which is this one over here. Now this puck is a little bit different. It's not a case of using this on super rough surfaces like the Green Biscuit. This is more for like polished concrete if you're an inline player or if you practice on surfaces that are quite smooth, but pucks like these don't work very well. Like if you're, for example, warming up before a game and you're in a locker room or in front of a locker room, the surfaces on ice rinks typically don't let these types of pucks slide well. This works incredibly well. So this is something that we're also looking at right now and there'll be a video coming very, very soon on this. But this Q-Puck is a great recommendation for warm-ups before games, before practices, or just general stick handling and training on fairly smooth surfaces like polished concrete. Video coming on this soon. Now here's something completely new. These are called blade shades. Every hockey player likes a good pair of shades and these things look like hockey sticks along the sides. This is nuts. They come in a few different tape job options and color options and also are available for goalies. Make sure you check these things out, they're awesome. Last but not least in our section for gift ideas for hockey players for less than $50 is gonna be the X-Foot Lace Bite Sleeve. Now this is from a company called Pro Sport Protection and they manufacture a wide range of, I guess you could say, solutions for lace bite. Now this isn't things like bunga pads or anything like that. These guys manufacture these sleeves that really do a great job of alleviating pain or tension in any specific areas of your foot typically caused by lace bite. They have these for the front of your foot, the sides, the rear of the foot. It's what I like to think of as a complete solution for lace bite. They also have a product called Power Shorts, which helps to add hip and core stability. Of course, this is something that we're gonna go into in a lot more detail, but if you're the type of player that suffers from lace bite, these X foot lace bite sleeves are definitely something I'd recommend checking out. They're incredibly comfortable to put onto your foot, and the fact that they have a selection that helps to alleviate that pain in the front, the sides, and also the back is great for players that are suffering on the ice, but still wanna be able to get on the ice and skate, so definitely check these out. So from there, we're gonna be looking at the products that now cost more than $50. The first ones I wanted to touch on was going to be skate runners. Some runners that we've been testing recently are Bionic Blades, who manufacture premium steel for CCM and also Bauer skates. They have a selection of colors. Now this again isn't something that is just cosmetic. Their runners have a lot of benefits aside from the general performance and the quality of steel that's used to construct them. So if you're looking for a replacement runner option, these are definitely a company that I'd recommend checking out. We're in the process of testing their runners right now as we speak, and there is a full length video that's gonna be coming out very, very soon. So as soon as that's available, I'll link it down below in the video description. But aside from the wide range of colors, their steel is of a much higher grade or a much higher standard than the typical steel that you'd get from the skate manufacturers. Now from there, it's gonna be a product that you see pretty much everywhere, especially this time of year, and that's gonna be the Super Deca. This is without a doubt one of the most addictive hockey games that I've ever played in my life. Aside from it being a ton of fun, you are working on your stick handling, you are working on your responsiveness, how quickly you can maneuver the puck, it's incredibly addictive. And the second you finish playing it, all you wanna do is get a better score. You work up a sweat, you're working those muscles that you use to stick handle on the ice. Of course, there's gonna be a full video where I go into more detail about what actual benefits you're getting as a hockey player from using this. Is it just a fun game or is it a training aid and also a fun game? So when that video is live, it'll be down below in the video description. I'll also link it up above. But this would be a great gift to pick up, especially right around the holiday seasons. Just a lot of fun. Whether you play hockey or not, this thing is a lot of fun. Now, of course, every hockey player would appreciate getting hockey equipment. Now, this is definitely gonna be one of those ones that comes in over $50, depending on what you're looking at. We've created a bunch of guides. We have stick guides, we have skate guides, equipment guides, general buying guides. All of those will be down below in the video description. So if you're thinking about buying a hockey player a new pair of skates, a new stick, we'll show you all of the things that you need to keep in mind before you buy to make sure you get the right gift, the right brand, the right model, the right spec for your hockey player. So all of those will be down below in the video description. Now from there, it's gonna be the Spark Skate Sharpener. This has without a doubt alleviated so much stress and so much irritation and frustration from our day-to-day -day life. We receive a lot of skates, a lot of runners that we're testing or creating product reviews for, which means that we're constantly having to get runners or skates sharpened. And the fact that our city doesn't have a hockey store, the nearest, closest hockey store that has essentially everything that we would need is over two hours drive away, which is ridiculous. 
So having a skate shop and an inside out office that we can sharpen our skates with at any time, conveniently, quickly, and very, very easily is a really, really big deal for us. If you wanna see the video that we created on the Spark Skate Sharp, and the link will be down below in the video description. If you play hockey yourself, or you have hockey players in your family, this without a doubt would be one of the best products that you could pick up for any hockey player. It's definitely gonna go a long way and it's the type of product that they'll use for years to come. Now from that is gonna be one of my favorite products and that's gonna be Synthetic Ice from Extra Ice Home. Now this is without a doubt the highest quality synthetic that you can get for yourself as a consumer, as a hockey player, regardless of where you are in the world. Aside from the joy of having our own mini rink that we can skate on, that we can take shots on, that we can test sticks on, just the convenience of being able to practice all of those core skills, those things that I feel that I'm not too good at, in my own time, in my own space, where I feel comfortable, I can just get on with whatever I need to practice is a feeling that I can't really describe. This has been without a doubt one of the best products that we've picked up. It's done wonders for our general development, skating ability, confidence, just being able to step out whenever you want to, practice your skating, your tight turns, your shooting, in your skates that you use on the ice in games and with the exact same stick that you use on the ice in games. Being able to shoot and stick handle from essentially the exact same setup that you'd be on the ice playing games in is pretty much priceless. Of course, if you wanna see a full video about what Extra Ice Homes synthetic ice is like, what their tiles are like, how they perform, how they feel, link down below in the video description. Now from there, it's gonna be the 360 zone from Hockey Revolutions. Now this is a phenomenal stick handling training aid because it practices, as the name suggests, stick handling around your entire body, not just in front of you. Although practicing in front of you is still great, you need to be able to develop the confidence to maneuver the puck around your entire body. It'll make you a much more confident and a much more complete hockey player because stick handling around your body is much more practical and much more game applicable because very rarely on the ice are you gonna be able to stick handle just in front of your body. You need to be confident maneuvering the puck around your entire body. The 360 zone pushes you outside of your comfort zone by making you maneuver the puck into different colored zones on the tiles that you're standing on, into different positions all around your body at different speed intervals. It's incredibly challenging, but incredibly beneficial for a hockey player to practice this. Last but not least, it's gonna be something to shoot at. For the last year, we've been using Wilmwell's Heavy Duty Net, which without a doubt is the strongest and the most reliable net that we have ever come across. Our net has had over 10,000 shots fired at it. The post is littered with puck marks, but there isn't a single dent on it. We've had everyone from Czech pro players shooting on it, Swedish pro players shooting on it, even the CEO of Sparks Hockey has shot on this net. Countless players have ripped shots at this net when we had a small shooting zone inside our office, and it's the exact same net that we're using on our synthetic extra ice home tiles. This net has gone the distance, and if you're looking for a goal that you don't have to replace in a couple of months because it's completely folded and cracked in on itself, the Winwell Heavy Duty net is definitely the one that you need to look at. There will be a link down below in the video description so you can pick one up for yourself. As always guys, thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you felt that there was any products that we left out, please leave them down below in the comments section. If you're not already, please make sure that you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Of course, all of the links to all of the products we covered and all of the videos that we've created on them will be down below in the video description. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. And while you're here, make sure you check out the video that we shot last week. Take care guys.